Some business news. And the Kenya Union of Savings and Credit Societies, Cusco, has registered a growth of 595 billion shillings in its financial position in 2017, up from 5.60 billion in 2016. The union has also said that it has witnessed its asset base grow by 12.5% to 11.5 billion shillings from 10.25 billion shillings in 2016 on the back of a burgeoning SACO sector. The union is working to uh, align itself to focus on the government's big four agenda. Smart water solutions for increased agricultural production in Kenya, but also for the efficient use of the available water resources. Now, rice farm is in Kisumu, are on, under the Ahero irrigation scheme are staring at losses that could run into millions if there is no intervention against the devastating quelia and weaver birds that have descended on the area in droves. The birds attack the crop just before harvest and could in some instances lead to total loss of the crop. 360 acres, that is the area of land under rice right now in this area of Ahero. And with it lies hundreds of households that depend on the produce that should come out of these fields. From the plush green to the browning paddy rice, it is a sight to behold. Beautiful. But the stories told by the farmers here are far from good. The quilea and weaver buds known for having a voracious appetite for grains and for being destructive, have arrived here in droves, making scaring them away a full-time job for farmers here in Kano. And for the farmers like Clarkson Abiero, the loss occasioned by this invasion cannot be understated. As at now, we have rice in various stages. We have 360 at the level, at, at this level where they are about to mature. But we have others that are ongoing. Transplanting is going on, so it is a cycle. Farmers say in previous years, the invasion has never been this bad, and that at times government in the past sprayed chemicals that will get rid of the birds. If the spraying is not done, the 360 acres will go to waste. And the subsequent ones that are following will also suffer the same fate. And as desperate times call for desperate measures, farmers have resorted to basic and crude materials on hand to scare the birds. Ndege anakula mchele kila siku kutoka asubuhi mpaka spaka jioni saa moja dizi chatoka hapa. But for farmers who cannot do it by themselves like Amos, they have to pay for this at the rate of 10,000 shillings per acre in a month. But the losses According to Jacob Bongere, the production funds manager, goes beyond the farms. Currently we have over 100 tons of paddy dry in the drying floor, but cannot be sold because uh, according to the buyers, they are treating them as second uh, quality or third grade uh, paddy. Because of the invasion, many farmers have rushed to harvest their rice, creating a glut in the market. And because of this, the price of rice has gone down from 45 shillings per kilo to 30 shillings per kilo. But that is not all. And even the buyers have even had that quality of paddy in has gone down. And so they are now turning their face against us. The fund has lent out 15 million shillings to farmers this planting season alone. Funds they are not sure will be recoverable. <laughs> and as not all the rice in the area was ready, many farmers have now resorted to premature harvesting in a bid to beat the birds and salvage the little they can. But this further lowers the quality of rice. And we must deal with it. We must consult, we must find the right people to deal with it. Uh, spraying now would not help because they are already there. This is a situation that has moved from bad to worse over the years. And as the farmers here wait for the long-term solution from the county government, some of these farmers have already given up and they've left their farms to the birds so they can eat as much as they can. Kevin Ogutu, KTA News, Kisumu. Now Kenya is expected to adopt a new system which will help curb 
proliferation of substandard goods, including foodstuff. The new system by a British company and unveiled in conjunction with the British High Commission is set to be secure and replaces conventional document seals with chip embedded ones that are electronically verifiable. Manufacturers hope this will end certificate forgery, document tampering, content alteration and signature falsification. On the simple tap of your phone, you can confirm if your product is genuine. No stress. You are not scanning any QR code. You are not putting some digits in your phone or in your URL to say it's genuine or not. And then if you scroll up, you will see the product name, you will see the manufacturer, you will see the serial number of the product, the expiry date, and a lot more as, as it relates to the product. And, uh, for the purpose of demonstrating a, a package that has been tampered with, also with just a simple tap of your phone. No stress. It's going to display to you if the product has been tampered with. And then it's going to show you the product itself and the manufacturer.